Welcome to this edition of Student of the Game. I'm your boy, Ro, and contributor for State of the U. And I know what you're thinking. Why is there a baseball clip on my YouTube screen? And let me just preface this by saying, well, my managing editor, Cam Underwood, said, be different in the offseason. And for those who don't know, I was actually a professional baseball player for the Texas Ranger organization. I was drafted in the 23rd round and actually retired with over a 300 average as a lifetime hitter. So, I guess it's not that uncomfortable. And on the screen right now, you see Miami's bona fide power hitter, Alex Terrell. This soft, just now junior sophomore from last year hit 293 with 24 home runs, which led the ACC and was the third in D1. That was the second most. 24 home runs was the second most by a hurricane ever. So, I just wanted to go ahead and Let's break down this stroke, shall we? This was against Townsend recently, and this is going to be a laser outside of the park, pull side, right side, right field. And in this case, this is where it all starts for me, right here. at Right when the foot is about to make contact, can you get into an athletic position? You're going to see that the knob is potentially pointing at the catcher's feet, which it is. You're going to see a nice, firm athletic base, and when both feet touch the ground, and it's about to happen here, You're going to see what starts, what's called a kinematic ground sequence. You're going to get the power plugged into the ground. I liken this to like a light socket, right? You got to get plugged in to get the full juice, to get the full power. Uh, I I also like this on deck too, because they're all practicing the same stuff. A lot of people will think this is wrapping the bat necessarily, but I challenge anybody to watch hitters in the major league. When their front foot gets down, they're in a strong athletic position. Now, I wanted to go ahead and parallel that because this was a change for Alex Terrell. Uh, And here you go. This was him in high school at the same aspect, right when that foot comes down. It's about to make that contact. You can see he's, he's starting to fly open just a little bit too soon. Bat's a little bit Flatter. This is going to ca- or cause you to go ahead and not be so connected and take a bad path that's around the body instead of short to the body and through the body. Both end up being bombs, mind you. But in this case, you can see the adjustment from high school Alex Terrell to now once he's gotten to the University of Miami, how much more strong and athletic he looks. Now we're just going to go ahead and watch this clip. And there you go. Look at how good he keeps his head down on the ball. And now this is that old Tony Gwynn style of hitting, right? You want to finish high. Even though Tony was a contact guy, Tony Gwynn was one of the greatest contact hitters and hitters of all time in major leagues, if you're going to ask me. But he always said you're going to finish high, and that's exactly what happens here with Terrell. Some other things I want to show you. Man, this was such that offense that we talked about looks like Miami Bam. is Watch finally getting it going. Out the right the Hurricanes across. So let's get back to the beginning here because I want to take this Over view the right here. Fence. Nice take another even look. load right there. Look at this side bend. This is what I call posture, right? You want to know how he was able to hit a low ball? You can see this right now with the catcher. He's setting up really, really low here. You want to see how you get to a low pitch? Look at this side bend. Right, That's how he's getting in the zone, getting into the bat path, because look at that. That is is really good posture. A lot of major league guys are posturing to this low pitch. You see this side bend, and when it's up, they won't posture as much. My opinion, you want to go ahead and look up, especially if a pitcher is known to kind of beat you up and then posture down. But there you go. Goes down, shows that posture, finishes high. Now, when you watch that back real quick, right, you see it, you never notice that posture. It just looks like he's up really quick. But at contact, once again, we'll stop it right there. Look at the posture, right? And look at that bath path. Oh, he's swinging up. Now, through the zone, he's remarkably through the zone efficient. Uh, and that is a good way to go down and go get that ball. Now, on, on the telecast, they're like, oh, way to drop the head of the bat. That's kind of a just a term you say live, not necessarily something that you're thinking. Just go ahead, take a nice swing to the bat, posture to the ball. You're not necessarily drinking your your barrel to the bat down in a brown, but if you're thinking this, you're naturally going to get down on that ball. So there he goes, finishes, and once job again, I just the love this the posture bat. shot right there. Ah, oh, that's pretty. That is how he was able to go ahead and keep that lower ball and go ahead and create trajectory. I'm telling you, if he's a little bit more vertical, hand's going to get a little bit more negative through the bat plane. Um, Sweet spot, you want to have an eight degree attack angle. 
you know, zero to 14 is acceptable, but you want to be eight degrees. The premise is you want to go ahead and get on the angle that the pitch is coming from, and that's going to get you your launch angle, right? But it always starts with me with the attack angle. The attack angle is something we can control. Being on time is going to what's going to lead to our launch angle. But this is an attack angle. This is how you get to that lower pitch. This Smooth is remarkable. Swing. Ball goes up. And I'll watch. Nice even load here in Terrell. This is something that he can pre coil and all loads are different. And I love, you know, I coach at a little league level. And whatever whatever is fluent, you have double tap guys, you have big leg kick guys, and this is what we would consider a knee knock, right? Back he's just going to go ahead and bring that knee by. It's not a huge leg kick. Knee to me, he's little knee. You're going to see the pre-coil of the hips. Now nice. you're going to get strong, and there it is. Now look at the torque that he's creating. You're plugged into the ground. Remember that? We said you got to get plugged into the ground. you got to get into the athletic position. Now you go back. Now his hips are leading his hands. His hips are still there. You go back to his high school shot. His hips are already starting to fly open. So this is something that once he got to University of Miami, he kind of changed. And I'm telling you, that's why he went his first year hitting one home run to get in 24. Because just look at how much energy he's looking to keep behind the ball. Hips lead the hands. And what it should be, you're supposed to see the back hip fire first. It's real hard to do it like this which it does, the back hip starts to feel, and it's creating this whip phenomenon, right? Now, there you go. It's going to go to the back hip. You don't throw your hands first once you get to that athletic position. Our hips lead our hands, and then you want to be short to the ball and long through it. You can see that he's trying to get really, really connected here. This bat should travel really, really close to the back shoulder, and then next thing you know, bam, there's that posture shot from the other side, head down onto the ball, this is good stuff. Foot's going to rotate out. And let's back this up, too, because we'll, we'll get ahead and do it. A lot of people think, oh, he's stepping out. No, this is, this is taught. This is intentional in order to clear the hips, which you see it. This front foot, a lot of hitters, you get this at about 45 degrees. You get this as a 45-degree minimum. It allows you to clear your hips, which it's doing. And you can see his hips are definitely leading his hands. You don't do this right with great gr uh, ground kinematic sequencing. You don't get plugged in. You don't let your hips lead your hand. You don't posture. You don't hit a low pitch outside the park the way Alex Terrell did on this pitch. So this is a lot, a lot of good hitting right here. Really appreciate this. Once again, from start to finish, let's just watch this ball. That offense that we talked about looks like Miami is finally getting it going. Balakaye, bro. Balakaye.